We've got Nathan on the line in Texas. Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Lauren, and Mark. You know, it's funny you mentioned Ron Paul. Wasn't there a video of him in front of, in front of a Confederate flag one time? I don't know. I haven't seen it. That's a no controversial idea. claim. Can you back that up? Well, let's uh, just go Google yeah, it and search. I saw it, on, I, saw it on a news, I saw it on a newscast a few years ago, but I have to hunt for it. Um, I'll see if I can do that. Save that up for you guys. Okay. Uh, I had a question. I had a question. Does for it mean Lauren. anything to um, you, though? I mean, that he might be in front of a Confederate flag because it's a controversial flag, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think the intent of the newscast I was watching was from here. So that, that would be. Yep, the only I see it. I got it pulled up here, JPEG. Absolutely, looks like it to me. Either that, or it's a really darn good Photoshop. Whoa. So what? <laughs> okay. Well. Well, it's just uh, it's a very controversial image. So it's uh, I don't know. It's, it seems like it's a very useful way to smear people who talk about secession. What's controversial? Um, controversial about it? Well, I think it's obvious. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and maybe it's not obvious. People, yeah. Uh, so I had a question for Lauren about. Oh, um, apparently, he doesn't want to. An- he doesn't want to answer your question, Lauren, <laughs> but he wants to ask you a question. No, we're just going to assume sorry, it's controversial. What, what question? Sorry, Go ahead. what question? She asked you what's controversial about it. Well. Um, I guess the Confederate flag is controversial to some individuals. I mean, I don't consider it controversial, but I mean, it's a flag like a lot of other national flags. I don't see that as um, controversial. I haven't been given a reason to think it's controversial. Well, I mean, a lot of people associate it with slavery. So, I mean, whether they're correct to do that or not, I don't know. It was really a flag know. raised to represent um, the people that wanted to uh, be free. I, I don't from the government tyranny that they were facing. So I wouldn't wear I, it. it and I it wouldn't speak enough, in front of it. There was slavery long before that flag. That flag has nothing to do with it. Well, yeah, it's just that the, the cause they were rallying around for a lot of people, they view that as, you know, enslaving others. So I can kind of see why people would be hesitant to be associated with this flag. Yeah, a lot of people. Um, that's why I like to use. I like to use the term independence like you suggested instead of yeah. secession just for that reason. Yeah, so I think a lot of people are misinformed about what actually started the Civil War. And it was actually a dispute over a fort. Uh, the government was trying to take over a fort that belonged to the South and use it. And well, the South didn't want the them to gun use fire. it. That's what sparked the, the, right. the gun, it, yeah, gun shots. Something, right? And our government, I'm sorry, the U.S. government, the they made it seem like it was about slavery so that they could get the backing of the north it it was complete it was a complete propaganda well the, play. four of the four of the states that seceded had the term slavery right in their um secession documents i mean to 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 try to wrest um secession of the south from slavery is a very historically difficult thing to do yeah oh yeah plus there's a uh, the fact that Lincoln didn't mention, you know, in that inaugural address, he talked about how it was about money and tariffs. So, so yeah, you Lincoln are, was a very a bad man. sell right now, Nathan. I, why are you not calling with Skype anymore? You spoiled me with all the Skype calls, and now the last two calls, it's been uh, on your this phone. Horrifying cell phone. Uh, yeah. I was hoping that you wouldn't notice, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's um, really noticeable. I'm going to have to let you go. Thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Oh, that's you. too bad. I wanted to hear what question he had. Yeah, I don't know. It was just getting really bad on that uh, on that connection. Maybe I guess, I guess he said something about internet troubles. I don't know. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Yeah, if you've got Skype, uh, please use it because <laughs> really, yeah, yeah, it almost always sounds better. I just want to urge everybody to actually look at some stuff about Lincoln, some uh, stuff that exposes what you mean he was how, really like, doing. He didn't really care about slavery. No, he didn't. Not even a little Read bit. Read the second inaugural address. That ought to clear everything up for yeah. you. What's he saying um, that? Uh, well, I just can't quote it. Um, essentially, that his, um, you know, his his intentions aren't to his intentions to to preserve the union. That slavery was what wasn't his, the issue. Yeah, that was Consider for a second that uh, Lincoln presided over the entire span of the Civil War. Four states that were not required to give up slavery. It was um, uh, Maryland, and uh, I can't remember. I can't name them all off. But four of the states did not secede and did not give up slavery in Lincoln's lifetime. So. To suggest somehow that the the you know the, the North wanted to get rid of that the the Civil War for the North was about getting rid of slavery. I'm not sure it was. There are plenty of abolitionists that fought, and lots of Quakers who were certainly abolitionists. Uh, they 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 stopped being Quakers in order to fight in the Civil War for wow. the North. 
But, uh, I mean, you know, every other country on earth that has gotten rid of slavery has done it without a war. So it's not necessary, necessarily. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 